Joining us is Dr. Natalie Azar. 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 Dr. Natalie Azar is a clinical assistant professor at the NYU Langone Medical Center. Patients don't realize that some really, really common supplements such as calcium and iron supplements can affect the absorption of their prescription medicines. And in certain cases, those supplements can actually affect how the prescription medicine is metabolized in your body, meaning that it can render it completely ineffective or actually give you toxic amounts. Women are not going to give up their high heels as a result of the story, but just for the heck of it, tell us what this 3D thing is. They are absolutely not going to give up their high heels oh, as a okay. result of the story. So. No I think they're going to go out and tell buy us more. how bad it is. Exactly. This, this is called 3D functional imaging, and what they've done is that they have taken a woman, they've taken a picture of her wearing her shoes, so not taking a picture of a two-dimensional flat x-ray, which okay. doesn't give us that for much information. Mm -hmm. They're actually giving us the picture of what your foot and your bones look like when you're wearing these high-heeled shoes. Okay. And the, the point that they're trying to make here is that you see that, that sharp, almost 90-degree angle where the toes are meeting the, the bones of the foot. Right. And that the toes almost that take... That looks painful, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And, and all the weight of the body is on those little tiny toes. Wow. What we're talking about in the United States is West Nile. It's affected every state except for Alaska and Hawaii. It's been here since 1999. Wow. The vast majority of people who are exposed to West Nile virus, roughly 80%, will have absolutely absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. And I think that's something, a misconception. Take your child to the pediatrician and they say at six months they should be sitting up or they should be rolling over. And at the pediatrician's office, your child doesn't perform on right. demand. You can take a video of them doing it at home. And you can say, see, my child is meeting this milestone. If they return home and within 10 days of their travel, they come down with respiratory symptoms, you need to go to your doctor and you need to tell them that you just traveled in this area where this is happening. A regular person coming down with a cold or flu-like symptom in New York City doesn't need to worry well, about it. Well, it was interesting. So this, in, this is actually not new in medicine. There's always been roadblocks to care in terms of ordering expensive therapies, ordering expensive diagnostic tests. But this happens to be a slightly unique situation because the, the, the price Medicare normally reimburses for cancer chemotherapy is a, is a fixed price. However, untreated Lyme disease in its late stages can trigger intermittent or persistent arthritis, usually of the knee. What about drinking alcohol during pregnancy? Right. That's obviously something controversial. That's definitely one of the contra more controversial ones. Um, you know, specifically on, on the alcohol, the, the Attorney General and the Secretary of Health and Human Services recommends absolutely no alcohol during pregnancy. So it's, it's complete abstinence. And the main reason is that, number one, there's not a direct correlation between how much you drink and the effects on, on a fetus. Cause baby, whether 